Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Zhengxu. Let's look at the problem five in chapter twenty nine. Chapter twenty nine is about the electromagnetic induction and the Faraday's law. This is a simple application about Faraday's law. And there, let's see what is given quantities. The given quantity tell us a loop, so that means the turns n equal to one, right? The radius equal is given. The magnetic field then is given, and also tell us the magnetic field. The magnetic field then then decreased at a constant rate. So you can write dB with dT as negative zero point zero one T over S, right? And ask you what rate should R increased so that the induced EMF within the loop is zero. So that means the induced EMF equal to zero. This is another condition. And then we need to find what is dr over dt, right? So now, this is as we talk about, this is the application about Faraday's law. So we write down the Faraday's law there. The change of the magnetic flux with time, right, produce, brings the EMF. So now, in this equation, we can see uh, the n is given. So it looks like we need to look at the phi magnetic influx. As we talk about magnetic influx A times B, right? A times B. So then we can see it tell us this plane is normal to the direction of the field. So this is 90 degrees. So we can see, it, uh, so then we can have B times pi r squared, right? B times pi r squared. Now we find d phi over dt if you look at it there, you can just uh, write it uh, in this way, right? d phi over dt, then we can just uh, do the derivation for the variable b and r. So first one for variable b, it looks like this one for r is 2r dr over dt, right? And then we see the condition, this uh, induced em should equal to zero. So that means the term in this bracket should be zero, agree? Yes, and then we can cancel pi and r. Simplified, look like this one. And then write the term we are interested, dr over dt in this function, right? And then input all the given quantities, you get answer there. Thank you.